Hi, right. I'm going to be working on our hobbit houses again. Okay? So, this is a piece that we sprayed the other day. It's dried now. Actually, was. Okay? I didn't put a hole in the bottom of it like I did in this one. Okay? Remember, we just used a piece of carpet tubing. So, we're going to do the windows now. This is how I drill, drill the windows, okay? It's kind of basically, you, you, uh, this is where our door was. Okay, but I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to put the door there yet or not, okay. There's a really nice spot here at the back. So you just pick the spot that's going to look the nicest to have the, the, the door and a window or something beside it, okay. So what I do is, I like weathered wood rather than painting it myself, okay. What I do is I go out and buy a planter where they've got the cedar bark mulch in it or a lot of people put it in their garden or just anywhere where there's little bits of wood, okay, I just go and pick up some nice little pieces that look like good, uh, what do they call those, lentils or whatever across the top of the door, okay. So, I think I'm going to put my door over here on this nice flat surface, that way I can have a window beside it, okay. For windows, I use a gray uh, plastic tubing, but any plastic tubing will work, okay, as long as it's about the right size diameter, okay, in this case this is three quarters of an inch okay and uh, for inside I know it might be hard to see but inside there okay I have uh, a little bits of this screening this is a uh, soffit screening it's got a nice diamond shape to it plastic glues inside this plastic nice that way I don't have to use little wood braces the other stuff you could use is, you know, like something like hardware netting, it's square, and then you'd have, uh, you know, the, the traditional cross piece type thing inside the window, and you glue that inside there, okay? If you're drilling the holes, uh, this one is actually, they use this in cooking, but basically just get a, get a pipe that's the right size, uh, a little bit smaller is nicer, better. Uh, this one is about a half an inch at that end and about three quarters inches at that end. Or grab yourself a piece of pipe, half inch pipe. Hole saws are nice too, but they're, you know, they're kind of expensive. Hey, if you don't have one of those, get a piece of pipe. The, the piece of pipe, I took a hacksaw and I just cut across it, you know, and basically put teeth on the end of there, okay? So that's, that's one, one. This one here, it's a little bit softer uh, metal. So what I did was I took uh, needle nose pliers, my you know trusty needle nose pliers, and I just put little teeth, tick 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 tick, all the way around the, the tip. Okay, so that's what I use for drilling the, the window holes. Okay, same thing with the the doors. Now this one here is about the same size as this hole saw. Okay, this is cut off of uh, a bathroom shower rod. Okay, it's n nice size for hobbit doors. Okay. And I've just taken my uh, needle nose pliers and cut teeth all the way around it. And I'm going to put my door right here. So I just turn it in. I put it, hold it flat against the board and then just turn it in. If you can't, uh, you know, use your fingers or something, grab needle nose pliers, okay? I've also sanded around this so it's not, you know, it's not sharp on my fingers, okay? That gives you a nice, nice doorway, and then just pick it out. I use uh, these little rasps, wood rasps, a lot for working with foams. Uh, these ones have points on it, so you can just basically stick it in there and pop that out. Sometimes I'll, I'll dig it right through if I'm going to have the door open. Uh, actually, usually I always dig it so I've got the option. Okay, so there's our going to be our door. Okay, now our d dead piece of nice sun dried wood. It's already all that nice, you know, it's hard to paint that color. Okay, I'll just find a spot just above the door and then cut that in. Pre press it in a little bit and it'll uh, give you your lines. Okay. Now just before I 
actually cut that in. When this stuff dries, it has a sort of a glossy coat on it, okay? And it won't take paint or your uh, gooping mixture very good at all. Until you sand it, you got to rough it up a little bit. So get an old piece of coarse sandpaper. In this case, I'm going to use some off my uh, uh, belt sander. It's nice stuff because it's got that cloth backing on it, okay? And uh, I don't know if you can see on this, but see some of these have got a little, you know, you'll have little points and bumps and stuff. Take, take just about all those off, okay? You can build them back up with a plaster after anyway, okay? So just go over the whole thing with your, your sandpaper and try to make as much of it uh, rough as possible. You can see on it, it gets dull. It gets, get, gives you a dull finish when it's sanded, okay? So go over the whole thing. If, if you've got, you know, bigger bumps on there that you want, take your wood shaver or your, your rasp and, and you know, take those off, okay? Don't go too deep because uh, depending on what brand of that spray foam that you, you were able to find, low density one, okay? Uh, there may be really big air bubbles in there and stuff which you'll have to fill up, so, you know, don't go too deep with, with your, your rasping, okay? And it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, well, the more the more you sand on it, yes, the better. But you're going to fill it up a little bit with some plaster anyway. Plaster or sculpt the mold type stuff. I do like that sculpt the mold brand. I wish we could get it up here for a lot cheaper. But if you can't, use plaster of Paris and uh, toilet paper tissue or something. It works really good. Okay. Now my window I'm going to put off to the side of the door. Same thing, just pop it out after. Okay, and then that's where your little plastic tube goes inside. Okay, then that gives you a nice little wooden type looking area. You can detail this because it's plastic. Uh, you know, you can do uh, wood grain lines on it, or you can take your hacksaw and just like you did on your, your drill here, just hacksaw some little lines and it'll look like uh, the boards have been put in there. You can get really fancy too, like take uh, a bunch of coffee stir sticks, you know, and glue them to a piece of newspaper, okay, then cut them out about the same thickness as, you know, this pipe is, what's that, half an inch? Okay, cut off a half inch strip and then just kind of roll it up inside there, eh? And then you'll have actually real wood inside your windows. That, that looks really nice too. Okay, now trying to keep this under 10 minutes, segments. Uh, I'm going to finish sanding this and then I'll be back.